Hi, just a public service announcement regarding these A1706, A1707, and A1708 MacBook Pros. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to get the bottom cover off of these machines. So on the old ones, if you had a bottom cover, you would simply have the bottom cover, you would take the screws out, and then you would just lift this up, and it would come right off. On the new machines, after you've taken all the screws out, it still doesn't come out. First, you have to pop one of these out a little bit, then you have to you know, put a pry tool in here and run it all around the sides. And then once it's popped off, you have to grab it like this and then pull half of the time that you're pulling like this, you're going to wind up scratching your knuckles on here. There are people that say to do it with a suction cup. I can never get that to work properly. It's a pain in the ass. And one of the biggest problems that will happen is rather than using a tiny little pry tool like this to open the case, what a lot of people will do is they will grab the first thing by that's like this or a screwdriver. And the problem is if you're pushing inwards with a screwdriver is that the moment you get in there, you're going to go clink. And what, that, what, what happens is that many people knock off this little sensor chip that is right on the side of the machine. And I'm going to show you what that looks like and why it is that you should not be using these really long tools to open it so that you could avoid doing this. So you, you could see that this was where this chip used to be. Every single one of its pads has been lifted off of the board. And Paul here has removed the covering on many of these traces, uh, soldered jumper wires to every single pin of, the, of this chip. He covered it in green conformal coating and it has been adhesed to the board on the bottom so that it would stay there. And then he conformal coated over all the wires and all the, the solder points here and um, you know I mean it, again this works but ideally you want to you want to avoid having to do this uh, by just not you know shoving your screwdriver in here because uh, the thing is as soon as you get this unclipped there's this little clip over here I'll show you that see this you got this little area with the little thing so as soon as you get this in there what's gonna happen is one you know you're pushing as hard as you can and when you get it in there you're going to rip right into that chip and smash it off the board so be careful when opening it i highly suggest one of these things again these have been useless for a very long time i you know we used to use these for opening like the blackberry curve 8330 and 8703e if any of you watching this are even old enough to know what a blackberry 80 curve is but um you uh, we have a bunch of these left over and we use them just going around the side and if you do that, you'll avoid this mess over here. But if you have messed it up and you have destroyed the machine and the sensor chip is off and all that type of thing, uh, just head over to sendyourmacbook.com. Send your MacBook in for an expert technician to redo that entire section of the board. Because if there's anything Paul loves, it's running all those jumper wires and uh, dead bugging the chip. Right? Indeed. That said, uh, that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.